So this past October, I had the opportunity to spend a weekend at Sky Harbor with Lake Country Air. This particular opportunity was to get a multi-engine seaplane rating in a Beach 18. And I couldn't pass that up, and it's in the town of Duluth, Minnesota, which is just, turns out, a delightful place to spend a weekend. Their knowledge of this particular airplane was fun to get to learn a little bit of the history, to jump in and, and start it right up, and there's, of course, there's just nothing like the start of a radial engine. And that little, uh, that little apparatus they have where they've got a custom trailer where they back it off with that, uh, with that Chevy truck, which, which in itself, that square body Chevy truck is kind of a head turner. And it just floats right off effortlessly. And my first observation was how easy it was to maneuver uh, that twin beach on the water. It's got nice, nice control with the water rudders and you can use differential power in, power in there to help you control it. As we came in for the first landing there, I was really surprised a Beach 18 on floats turns out to be an airplane. You can really just grease it. It's, it. It can be difficult to tell exactly when you're down and we had a lot of jokes back and forth with us in the cockpit about that. But because of those large floats, because it's got really good authority, a lot of wings, so you have a lot of ground effect or water effect, if you will, to cushion it. So it, uh, it flies very smoothly. This place here was up in Crane Lake, Minnesota, which uh, goes back for decades as one of the final stops. People would stop in to gas up at, at that place there to hop into Canada. Of course, we couldn't do that. Uh, Canada was closed due to the uh, pandemic. I guess if anything surprised me about the way it flew, it was how easily the Twin Beach came off the water. Very deliberate, very positive movement as it comes off the water. And my only comparison really is a Super Cub on amphibs that I fly quite a bit in, uh, when, I, when I get to see seaplane flying. And the beach was, I would say, much more stable, much easier to fly, quite frankly, on, on and off the water than a, than a Super Cub on amphibs. That's Gary Padden there. He's, he goes by General. He's got Navy time. He's got Air Force time. He's been um, flying that Twin Beach for several years, and he's just a great guy to fly with. I mean, he was he was on a check ride, and you know there was there was definitely that element of being up there, but especially after it was done, he was just a lot of fun uh, guy to talk to. You know, so all in all, if if you're just out to notch a rating in your belt to go get a multi-engine seaplane rating, there's probably uh, much cheaper ways you can go do it. It's hard to imagine an experience that enjoyable if you want to get a multi-engine seaplane rating. So this one's kind of for the romantics and the adventurers and people that just want to fly a piece of history. The Beach 18 is, uh, is such a big part of history. It's so well loved by the pilots that fly it. So the opportunity to fly one on floats was just a spectacular weekend.